Hey everybody, it's Margaret. Welcome to my channel, Texas Gal Treasures. And today I thought we would go through some more of the rings that I got in the haul. Um, I got a $500 haul from a lady in my jewelry group, Texas Gals Jewelry Lovers. And I need to go through and just kind of show you everything else too, but I haven't done it yet. Um, we've been out of town all week, so I... I'm finally home and can get back onto regularly scheduled programming, whatever that may be, but just to come on and say hello and um, pull some jewelry to look at. I'm a little tired. It's been a week, so but we've had a really good one. So I hope you guys have been having a good week. My things are rolling. Hang on. Rolling, rolling, rolling. My magnet and my ring sizer are rolling. Hang on. It's going to be one of those moments. Let me mute that real quick. Okay, so this was the 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 case that was holding the rings from the haul. Um, and I've done two videos so far talking about some of them that are on the bottom row already. And then I have got a couple that are spoken for, a few that have sold um, from viewers who are watching and is like, hey, I want that ring. So that's totally cool with me. If you see something you like, send me a message and we can work it out and and sell it <laughs> yeah because that's what we're all doing right buying and selling jewelry anyway <laughs> how's everybody doing it's awfully quiet tonight normally uh make sure i'm on the right channel yeah i'm on the right channel okay cool that's fine whatever i didn't share it out or anything so like i say um we went through the bottom row ah it's really gonna pop out oh my gosh here we go one of those nights i guess so we're gonna take a look at some of the <laughs> the other ones that haven't we haven't looked at yet. A busy night, yeah. I guess so. I didn't tell anybody I was coming, so it was a surprise. If I knew you were coming, I'd have baked a cake. So first up, we have got this ring that looks kind of like it's got like Swarovski type crystal in it, and it's pretty sparkly and fun. Hello, yes, we're staying safe. There's supposed to be some weather, that's for sure tonight. Um, so this one is a size eight. And I think this one is marked Sterling on there. Du -du -du. I am looking, but not seeing. So let me pull out my magnet. Um, it's not magnetic. Let me grab my loop and take a peek. Wow, it's a it's a quiet night. I guess we're just gonna have a quiet night in. I feel like I'm coming down with something. So if, I, if I'm kind of off too, that's I don't know. Uh, look at this. Maybe I should have just taken a nap. I don't know. It's fine. That's the way to sell it, right? Tell everybody you're just tired. I don't see any marks in it, but there might be. I'll have to look at it a little bit closer. Yeah, are you guys in the area? I know there's a lot of Peterson. I don't know if you're in the area or not. Nine degrees Fahrenheit. Oh, my gosh. In Minnesota. Yeah, we just have um, flash flood warnings right now, so... We made it home. We were trying to decide if we should try to drive home or not, but we did. We drove home from Houston, so now we're back in Austin. So this is the next string. It's really cool. Lots of swirly, swirlies, open work. And it looks like it's a little bit bent, but that can be fixed pretty easily with the ring sizer. Um, if you just squish it on there, and then it'll kind of curve it out. I'll, I'll fix it more later. But So there's that. And I thought, yeah, this one's marked 925 in there. And let's take a peek. So it is not magnetic. I'm trying to see, I see another. Uh, yeah, it just looks like it's marked 925 twice in there. So there's that. Very cool. Did I tell you the size on that one? It's about a size eight. So many of these are right around the same size because they were from the same person. So. That would make sense. That would make sense. I'm gonna go share, cause I'm like, what? There, where is everybody? <laughs> Not that I don't love everybody who's here, but normally you guys know, we have, usually have a crew in here. But again, I haven't been, I haven't been on like my normal self lately. Let me go share it out. <laughs> uh, rings, who wants to look at some rings tonight? Let's just post that. Who wants to look at rings tonight? There. Perfect. Uh-oh. Not perfect. I just exited out what I did. Anyway. Ah. I my, my congestion is so funky right now. Oh, this one's T9C. Okay, so 
just as I was saying, some of the ring, most of the rings are all the same size. I find a tiny, tiny one. Not now, not now, YouTube. Oh boy, you guys, hang on. So while I'm doing this, let me ch chat with you about, we went to Houston, you know, it was my son's birthday Wednesday. And, um, and we went, we had, we went to the Nutcracker on Tuesday. On Wednesday, we had our museum classes on Tuesday afternoon, or yeah, Tuesday Nutcracker, Wednesday was the museum classes. Wednesday afternoon, we went to the Children's Museum. Thursday, we went to Moody Gardens. So it was, it was nuts. And then Monday night, my son crossed over to become a Boy Scout. So we had to stay for that ceremony. So we drove to Houston Monday night and got there, got into Houston at midnight. So it was just, it's been crazy. So this one's missing a stone, so it'll probably go into a lot. Hello, Rosalie, hi everybody. Um, I know, it's fine. I mean, I just don't, I don't know. Who knows, maybe they, look at how tiny this one is. It barely fits at the top. Um, so this will probably go into a lot like a craft type lot, um, even though I know it's probably an easy fix, but I don't normally. I was just looking today though at fixing some solo clip-on earrings, or sometimes, you know, you get clip-ons and they're really pretty in the front, but then the clip-on part is it's lost its like grip in spring or something, it won't stay closed. Um, so I was looking at making those into rings, which was cool. <laughs> you share, they will come. <coughs> you share and they will come, yeah. Um, okay, so next up, we've got this cool ring. It's got this faceted kind of yellowish stone in there. And <clears throat> try to look at the back side of it and see that's the back. Pretty cool. Uh, I don't see a magnet in there. I mean, a mark in there. Goodness gracious. It is not magnetic that I can tell. Yeah, we had, so it was pretty busy, and then, you know, there were, there was a um, flash flood watch, and so we were trying to decide whether or not to come home or not, or stay. All right, so this is about an eight and a quarter sized ring. It's pretty cool. Then, next up, <laughs> we've got this one that looks kind of like a smoky quartz or smoky topaz um type stone i don't have my gem tester over here to test it out but it's cool it's wrapped up it's got this nice band with it and again no mark because of i guess the wire wrapping but um so that's pretty cool hello wendy how's it going hi rosalie i don't know if i said hi i'm out of it um <clears throat> so it's probably for the best we just keep it small small exclusive group right um, <laughs> so it's about a size seven, um, on that one. <clears throat> All right, next up we have this ring, um, which is, you know, probably just like a dyed howlite is my, my guess. So I need to find a way. I mean, I know how to tell, like, see, I'm pretty, pretty sure. Cause I see some white splotches in there. That it's the howlite, but I need to double check and um, because I have another bracelet that I was kind of on the fence about it being turquoise, so I need a more definitive test. So, you know what I mean? I'm sure there is one. All right, so it's about a size nine. Cool, 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 cool. All right, then next you're freezing. Oh, you're headed to Hawaii. How exciting! That sounds fun. I've never been to Hawaii. Have you been to before? Or is this your first time to go? Um, <laughs> all right. So next we've got this red stone and you know what? I should have taken a picture of um, before we left. My dad has a rock tumbler and he had tumbled some petrified wood that my sister had. Pardon me. Sorry, you guys. Ugh. And I was just thinking, wow, if I saw this out, I would think it was Jasper or something like that, but it was chunks of petrified wood that he had tumbled, which was really cool. So, but I didn't take a picture of it to show you guys. <laughs> I'm sure he'll share some. So there's this again. I'm thinking it's just a piece of red, a highlight dyed red, you know, cause you can 
or that dark, dark color. Oh, there is a mark in there. Let's see. Uh, freezing in your electric. Oh, gosh. Yeah, we're not, I'm not sure what that mark is. It's just kind of a symbol, like a little dot in a square. So I'm not sure what that is. It's getting colder here. We've had some up and down cold days, but it was cold when we drove in. Well, when I say cold, I mean like 50s, maybe 47 or something. All right, next up. Uh, when I saw this one in the case, I thought it might be a James Avery because it's kind of that style, but I don't think it, it is. I wouldn't be surprised if um, James Avery had a ring similar to this. My nose, you guys. Ooh, there's something. It says 925 and it looks like U.S.E. Something S-E, uh, O-S-E. Oh, he used to make, oh, neat. He used to make uh, bolo ties. I know, it totally is. My nose is just full of it or something. I don't know, it's weird. All right, next, this one's really pretty. It's got this almost like salmon colored stone. It's plastic, I'm sure. And then these pretty blue ones around it. It almost reminds me of like those cigar band rings. Um, it kind of has that look to it. And then, uh, you know, it's not got any marks in it, so I don't know. I mean, I don't think it's really gold or anything, but it's cool. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'll stick some up there. Oh, I just probably am just tired. I probably just need a good night's sleep for more than five or six hours, and then I'll be all good. Um, so this is about a size eight, a little bit bigger. Um... Um, well, I don't know. I mean, plastic has a different feel to it. Usually it's not cold to the touch. Um, so that's one way. Like if it's a stone, even if it's not a fancy stone, if it's like a natural stone, usually it's warmer, I mean, cooler to the touch than plastic. But that's not always the case. <laughs> it's not. Like this tiger's eye is pretty cool to the touch. Anyway. I think it's just time and practice and seeing it and asking and showing. So these look like little bits of um, mother of pearl that have been placed kind of in a mosaic style, which I think is really pretty. This may have been one that I was thinking of keeping and it's marked 925. Very pretty like that. Almost disco ball ish. Um, goodness gracious. It's, I just took some medicine for a headache, too, because I was like, man, this is going to give me a headache. I can tell already. You can get a metal, a test meter for hardness. Oh, yeah, yeah. Isn't that pretty? And it's about a size, you know, eight. There, a lot of them are, like I said, we're about the same size because <clears throat> because they belong to the same person. This was another one that I thought was like, oh, that kind of looks like James Avery-esque. Hello, Kaylee. Um, but what do you think that is, like a dogwood? I don't think it has enough petals to be a magnolia, but it's a really pretty ring. It is adjustable, but I don't think that's going to detract too much uh, for somebody who, once I figure out if that's a dogwood or not, likes that. <laughs> what uh, What's hardness? Well, the, uh, like different stones um, have different hardnesses. If you uh, go... For example, a diamond is a hardness of 10. There's um, a hardened Mohs hardness scale. And depending on the mineral um, and rock, you know, it's got a different hardness to it. And there's different ways to test it, um, you know, by, you know, can you scratch it? Can it scratch something else? Can it scratch glass? Um, so it's just um, knowing what hardness you know, tiger's eye. I don't know. What, I don't know what the hardness of tiger's eye is, and I wouldn't want to scratch my ring either, though. So there's, like he was saying, I think there's a tester that you can test for the hardness without having to scratch it up or something. You know, um, I don't know. I don't have this this tester, so yeah. And like, um, you know, shell or something like that's generally going to be a softer material. 
I'm doing this because you could probably scratch it or peel it, you know what I mean? Then you couldn't necessarily with a um, diamond. So there's that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so then this one, again, is probably some kind of agate. I'm guessing it's really pretty. Unless, you know, eh, I'm trying to tell if it's just kind of set in there or if it's something else. So there's that. Really pretty. Um, and hi, guys. Thanks for coming. I <laughs> appreciate it. It's about a size eight and a half on this one. Again, I'm kind of out of it a little bit. Um, so that might help if you're trying to tell what the what the stone is and all that. Then there are two of these glass rings you can hear that they're not plastic because of the clicking of them and they're just glass rings so ta-da there's those and they hmm let's see this one is about a size seven and three quarters and this one is uh, about the same about seven and three quarters we did um a big geology unit before before we moved we, we did that and so that was one of the things that my guys had to do i i like rocks and minerals a lot you guys may know this about me already but we have a huge you know rock and mineral collection just all over and we compiled all of our rocks and minerals and that was one of the things I would tell the boys, okay, go into all of the, we used one of these, like, um, one of these things. I just had it laid out on our table with all of our rocks and minerals in it. And I would tell the boys, okay, go find me a rock that will test harder than this or softer than this, or go find a, you know, it was fun. Who's fussing? Oh, why is fussing? Anyway, I don't know if I showed this one. She's bringing me darts. Thank you, dear. Okay, so there's this one. Some of the stones are a different, you know, darker color than the others, but that's cool. And then it's got this black metal. So it is about a size seven and three quarters, but with the stones being, you know, some of them darker than the others, I don't know how I'd, I don't know about that. So it might just end up in a lot or something. We'll see. I'll look at it closer and see what I can figure out about it. Thank you, dear, for bringing me these foam darts. Um, oh, yeah, it does. Thanks. Okay, open you. Um, so next, this one was a conundrum a little bit, so we're going to look at this one. There's this ring that looks like it could be bone, ivory, or like a celluloid. So we were going to take a peek at it. It's warm to the touch, so that's my first clue. It's about a size six and a half, six and three quarters. Um, oh, you think so? <laughs> yeah, she, I know she's staring at me. What do you want me to do? I don't know. Come here. Come here, Pris. You want to come say hey? She was sitting here before I started. I kicked her off the chair, so she may be mad about that. I was there first. Sorry. It's my chair. All right, so let's take a peek at this. Um, I'm guessing not bone, because just from me looking at it, I'm not seeing any kind of pitting. Um, so now what I'm looking for, yeah, it's ivory. So this is um, this is ivory, and the reason I know is that when I look at it real close, there's something called Schreger lines that, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, um, you probably can't see it because there are these little lines. If you look at it one way, it's like these parallel lines. And if you look at it kind of from a different angle, I'd have to find a different angle to look at it. Sometimes they'll like look like a, a cross hatch, you know, like that. Um, no, can't sell ivory. Hey, <laughs> hey, Jeff. Um, well, technically, there's there are ways to sell it, and depending on there's all, there's all these rules. But it, but if you have like documentation, you can prove it's pre a certain date, then you can sell it. 
but technically no. And then some countries it's different. The laws are different in Canada. And then if you're an indigenous tribe and you know, something from your tribe and then the laws are different, but I just have um, some ivory stuff that I have. I have some that was my grandmother's and I've had some, like I bought some, you know, I get it in lots sometimes or jewelry jars, or I found an ivory bracelet at Savers. There were two bracelets like looped together. One of them was ivory and it was 99 cents for both of them. I was like, I'll just take it home and put it with my ivory. Um, yeah, sure, Sunny. Let me know. Send me, send me a message. Um, so there's that. You can kind of see the lines along there where they're a little bit lighter and darker. Um, so yeah, that's ivory. So there's that one. Hey, not too much. I was wondering earlier, I was like, I guess everybody's at a party or they know that I don't feel good tonight. I'm a little snuffy. Um, that's okay. I'm a little out of it. Um, so, oh, thank you so much, Martha. I got my hair cut when I was in Houston and then, um, she like, cause I curl it a lot to make it do this, you know, fun stuff with it. And my, it was just so dry. And I was like, teach me how to not kill my hair. Cause I'm going to keep doing it. Um, so she was showing me what to do. So thank you, Martha. Appreciate it. All right. So this green stone, I'll have to look at a little bit closer and see what it is. Um, cause it's not malachite cause malachite would have like more, lines in it um you know if it's some kind of jadeite or something like that isn't that pretty so there's that and it's set in silver I'm looking to see if there's any other marks no just 925 all right next um i have an ivory necklace i got yeah yeah i and i and i wear a little bit of it but not a whole lot there's a few pieces that i'll wear but I don't want a whole lot of it. Um, okay, so this is a really cool looking ring. Um, it's got this, you know, plastic green stone in it, but I just love the way it's set. It looks really super vintagey fun. With these curly cues, like vines growing up the side. And this one is adjustable. Hi, Cindy, how are you? Where's everybody been tonight? I was looking for you guys everywhere and I couldn't find you. No. Um, this is true. I <laughs> it's funny you mention that. Um, I yeah, there there's a wig in the other room. I put it on the other day, and um, well, my family was here, and uh, it was yeah, good fun. <laughs> they know not to like be surprised, you know what I mean. And then I got those like rock star wigs for when I took picture with my siblings. Those like tin, I don't know what they're made of, like tinsel or something. Okay, there's that one. Oh, thanks, Peterson. Oh, good, Jude. I'm so glad. <laughs> I'm so glad. Um, okay, so next up, I'm going to see if we can get through the rest of these because I want to show you guys the other jewelry too. And I guess I just need to pre-record kind of going through it real fast. This is a really pretty cocktail ring. It's got these green, this green cluster surrounded by those white ones. <laughs> you had a lot of big hauls lately. This one is almost, this is about a size 10 ring. It's a big one. And it is marked. I see a mark in there. There's an S on that side. And have we got anything else? Um, I don't see any other marks. Just an S. That's what we got. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Hugs back. Yes. <laughs> group hug. I feel like I need a group hug tonight. I feel like my eyes are showing like my tired. I just want to, my husband to take over <laughs> and just let me sleep for like a day. A Bob Roth. I would totally, I would do it. I would do it. So this is another really pretty ring. So this one's got this. Um, Oh gosh, what is this? Like moonstone almost, you know, but I'm not sure it is. It's not, it's, I don't think it's shell, like mother of pearl, kind of looks like it, but it's awfully big. So 
For now, we're going with Moonstone. <laughs> Until I can, though. No? Oh, silly notifications. I was wondering where everybody was. And then all these marcasites all around it. It's really set very prettily. If you have a better idea, I'm out of it, you guys. I I, I don't know that that's Mother of Pearl just because of the way it is. I don't know. I don't know on this one. I'm looking at the back. No, the back makes me think it is Mother of Pearl. Don't listen to me. Okay, just don't. So here's why. See the back where it's got that bumpy, bumpy bump? That's like, you know, in the shell where they, they got those. I think that is the technical term is the bumpy bump on the shell. So, if you know what I'm talking about. So anyway, I don't know. Tell me what you think, jewelry lovers. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's got a question like, it looks like a moonstone, but then it doesn't. I uh, Yeah, it just started like last night. Uh, Houston. I blame you, Houston. So... <laughs> Yeah, exactly. But it's really pretty, cool, um, and it's about you know about a size seven and three quarters as well. Okay, next. Oh, thank you. <laughs> we can do something different with my hair right now if you want. <laughs> There's this little one with like a little onyx and marcasite, and it is certainly silver, just the way it's tarnished. Leia, do you want to come join me? Are you just mad that I took your chair? She's just sitting down there staring at me. So, oh, we're pretty, we're doing, um, I don't know, we've done 15 rings. I'm going to try to get through the rest of them, though. <laughs> sniffle, sniffles. Hey, Pancake. My cats are all coming to see me. We were gone for so long. I think they're rocket full. Oh, yeah. <sighs> and then look at this ring. Isn't it adorable? So it's a key. Let me push it up on my finger so you can see it better. A little wraparound key ring. I love it. Oh, good idea. I'm going to do that. Well, the first thing, this may be TMI, but the first thing I did when I got in was like, boys, go play video games. Mommy's taking a bath. Because we have, like, I have a big, I, I can't have to have a bathtub. So that's one of my, like, just get me in the bath. And, <laughs> and then I'm good. So this is actually an Avon ring. Isn't it adorable? So it's marked Avon and Sterling. What else does it say over there? My finger was in the way. Sterling, Spain. Okay, so Avon, Sterling, and Spain. So there you go. Cute. Oh, oh, and plus, since you're here, um, I I finally got some things listed on Poshmark. Those of you who do Poshmark. I'm kind of terrified. You know that it's that fear of the unknown. Here, I told you I'll play with my hair. Let's play with it. Um, that fear of the unknown of like, um, what happens next? Like when somebody buys something, I don't even, I don't even know. Because I know they they send you a label. Here, I have a little pearl thing over on this side. I don't even know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I was just like, oh, fine, let's play with the hair. Uh, I had a comment the other day from somebody who obviously doesn't watch me very often who was like, you talk too much. Get on with it. No. No. Okay. That's not even better at all. So, anyway, so if you are on, there we go. If you are on Poshmark, you know, let me know. Uh, I'm trying to follow people and play all the play all the rules, do all the rules right there. How about that? <laughs> I did. I got it cut. Well, when it was straight, it's like short here, and then it kind of comes down. So, yeah. <laughs> We're gonna do it. Just do it all the way. There. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> um, okay. So next, this is a. It looks like probably shell. That's my guess with the curves in it. If you know better than me, let me know. But I think it's probably just some kind of shell in there. Well, it's like light, light, light pink. It's very cute, though. And this one is also marked um, NF925. Oh, <laughs> 
Yeah, I'm like, this is why I do this. I'm not, I mean, there I have videos where it's just like, this is the information that you're looking for. And then I have the videos where it's like, I need to talk to grown up people. <laughs> so there's that. But the, th the thing is, if I'm in person, I'm not really that talkative. Ask my new friends. <laughs> I'm good online. And then I'm good, uh, I don't know, in person, it takes me a long time to warm up and start really talking. Okay, here's another one that's really pretty. So there's this. It kind of reminds me of like Edward or King King Henry or something like that. I don't know. Um, thanks. I talk Star Wars speak, do I? Wait, are you talking about me or somebody else? Um, so there's that. Rose quartz. Oh, okay, well, I'll look at it closer. This one, the pink one? Hmm. I wasn't sure because of the line, you know, the lines kind of look like a shell. I don't know. My Poshmark closet, I think, is TX Gal Treasures. I'm pretty sure that's right. I guess I should know that if I'm going to tell people. Maybe I should link it. Okay, this one's marked Avon as well, I think. Yeah, that's what that says. No, no, it's not. I lied. It's Sarah Coventry. Okay. So that one is a Sarah Coventry, and it is an adjustable ring. So that's cool. Cool. Um, this is not the ring. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I don't sell clothes. I used to try to sell clothes, and then I learned something about myself, and that, I, that is that I hate it. <laughs> I hate selling clothes. I know there's great money in it, and some people do amazing. Oh, God, I just couldn't do it. I'm actually just, tell me what you think. I'm thinking about, because I still have like boxes of, of tubs of things that's not jewelry that I'm, I'm like, I'm never going to get around to listing it. Um, so I'm going to, I want to go get some like large, either I'm donating a bunch of stuff or I need to get some large flat rate boxes and make like mystery box of stuff from Margaret's de-stashing reseller stuff. Because I have cool stuff over there. just. I'm never getting around to getting it listed. I just know it. Um, isn't that cool? I just wasn't good at it. I mean, there was definitely money there. Yeah. Okay, so here's this one, this open work oval. And that's to say, you know, I mean, some people love it. There's, you know, everybody, and that's the cool thing about reselling is you can totally find your your what you enjoy. So there's something out there for everybody. So that one's nine two five. Yeah, I started, you know, selling men's stuff, suits and things. And oh gosh, no, hated it, <laughs> hated it. Um, so about a seven and three quarters again. When's the next YouTube auction? Ooh, Cindy, when's the next YouTube auction? <laughs> it's not this Thursday. Maybe the next one after that. What is that? What day is that? I have to look at my calendar. I'll get with Cindy and see when she's free. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, thanks, Martha. Thank you. So there's this one. Cindy said a bit ago that they had to. Yeah, yeah. I'll have to. Uh, if I miss something in the chat, feel free to, to repeat because I miss stuff. It's true. All right. There's that. This reminds me of David. If you watch Shit's Creek, he wears like all a handful of these type of rings. Um, so yeah, that it's marked. It's marked nine two five, but I kind of wonder. Can you guys see on the back of this ring? It looks like a coating is like peeling off. You see that right there? I don't know if you can make that out. Um, so, no, I don't. I have a lot of jewelry boxes, though, because that's something else I was going to sell. But never happened. They're just sitting over there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Vintage clothes, is re I mean, they're really cool. Don't get me wrong. I like to wear clothes. <laughs> I just, I just convinced myself I needed to buy new dresses, so I bought a bunch of new dresses. Um. This one's kind of fun. It's all these little beads that 
They shake around. They shake around like that. Hello, Laura Bales. How are you? Uh, uh, sorry. Gross sounds. Um, right now I've got um, if you're talking to me, I'm right now it's just jewelry and like my jewelry lots are up there. Um, I slowly have been putting some jewelry over there, so we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I'll open for it. Why not? Um, so this one's adjustable. Uh, because right now, you know, I'm not doing I, my. I have some lots up over on eBay, but I'm just I'm not talking to eBay right now. So that's fine. Every you know, when I did my um, I closed my eBay store. I had a lot of very upset responses from some people, but I'm glad it's working for some people. But it just wasn't where I was happy. So it's about a size nine. It's cool. But you can see where the silver is rubbing off and also on the back. But, I mean, it's, mm, I don't know. I think if it was just rubbed off on the back, I wouldn't have as much trouble wanting to sell it. But because it's rubbed off there, too, it's like, me. Nah, I don't know. Yeah, and I used to do so well on eBay. I don't know. Maybe, maybe someday we'll go back to that. And then there's this cool ring. That one's pretty fancy, fancy schmancy. And it is smaller than the others. It's about a five and a half. That one looks so vintage. And it looks like, it's kind of similar to a ring my grandmother had. But I don't see any marks in this one. Ah, it's magnetic. Yeah, me and eBay, we're seeing other people right now. <laughs> it's cool, man. <laughs> Open relationship. Yeah. Um, so here's the next ring. And it's got these silver discs and these little pieces that look like they're trying to be opals or abalone. They almost look like they're trying to be opals more so than abalone because of the iridescence in there. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah. They have that opal look. Um, anyway, isn't that pretty? So, do, 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 do. I think it's silver. Yeah, Mark 925 in there. Cool. So cool. Okay, there's that. We have a few more to go. I'm, I know I'm not as energetic tonight as normal. Sorry, guys. Okay, then there's this ring that's got that marble. I know there's a name for it, and I can't think of what it is. It's got that rainbowy kind of iridescent marble in there. I'm sure that's exactly what it's called, too. <laughs> there. Um, the opaly one? Okay, I'll tell you, Mary. Hang on. This one is about a six and a quarter. Opaly one is about a seven. How big is your finger? I can't remember. I closed up. We finally, I think we're ready to send out Secret Santas. Finally got that all squared away. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyway, okay. Then we've got just like a band, like a wedding band, almost like a men's size. We'll see. Maybe. It's like a nine and a half, nine and three quarters. And yeah, it's for a thumb ring. If you're, oh no, too small. Uh, I'm looking for a mark inside this one to see. Why do I see no mark? Are you, hmm, it's not magnetic. Hang on. Oh wait, I think I see it now. Uh, looks like maybe it, it looks like maybe it was sized or something because it's really stretched. Um. Oh, hey, you flipping mama. So it says I can't read quite what it says, but it's nine two five. So there's that. I'll have to come back and look at it. Um. So this next string, I'm going to have to glue in or send to somebody because it was glued in. 
and it popped out. Did I show you guys this one already? So it's cool. It looks like that when it stays in, and then the sides look like dragon scales or something. Isn't that cool? Fire dragon ring. Raw. Mm -hmm. So there's that. I feel like I showed you guys this one before. And it is awfully small as well. It's about a five and a half to five and three quarters. Dragons, I know. You could wear it on your toe. <laughs> What's, I mean, cause yeah, it's like a really small size ring. Five and, so I'm squishing it on. Yeah. Ugh. Right, yeah. Um, but I'll have to glue the, the ring part back in there. All right, next up. I don't know what's happening here. There's this one that looks like that inside. Almost like it wants to be a moon ring, but it got broken or peeled off or something on the on the back side of it. Yeah, totally, Mary. <laughs> um, yes, yeah, so I'm not quite sure what to make of this one. I don't know. We'll see. I'll have to wear it around one day and see if it's a mood ring to size eight. Unless you guys know, have you seen anything quite like that? I have not. I have not. Good day, Saw. Okay, so next we have one that has got this chief on it, Indian headdress, and stamps along the sides. It needs to be shaped because it's all wonky. Um, let me push it down on here. And there we go. It is silver. I don't see any other kind of mark on it. So it looks like, oh, now he's upside down. Like that. It's pretty cool. Oh, okay, cool, cool. Okay, this is almost a size eight. I feel like I say seven and three quarters for most of them. Pretty cool on that one. Ta-da! Cindy had two moon rings in her life. Okay, okay. Mine was totally clear. Okay. Maybe that's what's going on with him. <sighs> I'm fading, y'all. This is not cool. Okay, I'm going to finish these rings and I'm going to bed. All right, another overwork. I don't want to be sick. <laughs> I don't want to. That's not fun. I've spent my week having fun. So this one's about an eight and a half, almost. Eight and, three, eight and a quarter. So a lot of silver rings here. This one's gorgeous, wait. So we've got this one that's most likely onyx, set in silver, like that. Isn't it pretty? <laughs> so there's that one. It's got that pebbling. Well, I don't drink that Monster Energy drinks. Are they nasty? They look nasty. They scare me. This one says Thailand and 925. Oh, Secret Tana, yeah. I'm, hopefully tomorrow I'll get everybody's names swapped around. So um, this is a size nine on that one. I know, I'm excited. I'm not even playing it, I'm excited. <laughs> um, then, okay, this one's cool. So it's an, like an open work type one, but it's got a, it's circular. That, not neat. And it's flat, boop, on top. <laughs> it's unusual. So this one is about an eight and a half, as far as size goes. There you go. Yeah, I don't need anything making my heart race. <laughs> I don't have my um, Apple Watch on my iWatch, but now I'm obsessed with my heart rate, apparently. I can look at it all the time. Um, <laughs> if you have an Apple Watch, you know what I'm talking about. So there's this one. It looks like maybe like a jadeite or something. I'll have to look at it closer. Yeah. And then this part is hollow in there, and it reminds me of those, like, pantaloon things that they would wear like in Shakespeare time, those little shorts, those poofy shorts that they would wear with their stockings underneath. <laughs> That'll be fun to describe. And <laughs> um, hang on. 
Jet and Onyx? <clears throat> well, it depends on the jet. There is jet. French jet is glass. But um, jet, other jet is not. Um, it's um, like a bog bark, you know, like petrified wood bark. Am I thinking of the right thing? Jet, onyx, yeah. So yeah, there's French French jet, which is like glass, and then there's jet, which is like a petrified wood from this bog. I don't know, it's not a bog bog. What do you call that? Come on, Dan, you know, you live over there somewhere. It's somewhere up there, and all the, <laughs> you know. I can't think of what it is right now. I don't feel good. Don't test me on my knowledge right now. <laughs> um, yeah, I know onyx is a stone. Yeah. Okay. Brains, peat bog. There we go. Yeah. Like the tree falls in and then stays there for a long time. <laughs> That's the technical way it's made. <laughs> okay. So lots of nice marcasites in that ring. Um, <laughs> hi, Crystal. How's it going? Then we've got another one with a piece of maybe turquoise. I think this one might be turquoise, maybe. I don't know. Again, I need to do a little better about identifying turquoise. Sometimes you can really tell when it's howlite. Like that one's got the white in it, so I'm kind of leaning towards it being howlite. You can see the white right there. But there's got to be a better way. The back makes me think so, too. Much like coal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> It'll smell like if you... Anyway, I did a whole video about it. It'll smell different, too. So, Like amber, you know. Um, yes, exactly, John. <laughs> I need my friend's help tonight to help me with words. Okay, so this one's gorgeous. I love it. I love it. I love it. That green is just one of my favorites. And yeah. So, ow, that's too tight. Hang on. Oh gosh, what have I done? Okay, I got it. Whoo, I just jammed it right on my finger and I couldn't get it off. Okay. Isn't this one sweet? Oh my gosh. Hello, darling. I am trying, yeah, I think my body's trying to get sick or trying to say, you need to stop, girl. Go to bed. And this one says, um, Heidi Douse, China, which is cool. Go, Heidi. It's about a seven and a half. Yeah, my, my, I'm trying, I think my thing is trying to get sick. I might, I might keep it. It might be one I keep for a while and then sell it. I have I only have one big ring in my life. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Heidi Douse, yes. Okay, so then we've got this band. Good call. And this one is a silver ring that is uh, about a size five and three quarters. Oh, it's one that spins. Watch. Can you see? Like the actual, the base of it is staying put, but then you can spin this part around. Why? What's the point? <laughs> What's the point of that? I don't even know. But apparently it moves. So whatever that's, yeah. It's not the ring moving. It's, I mean, it is the ring moving, but the, the center part of it, you know. It's not got a different picture on the other side. I mean, it would be one thing if you were spinning it and it was like a running horse or something, or you're spinning it and there's like a different picture on the different sides, but <sighs> I've been taking elderberry too. I need to go take some more elderberry maybe, you know, F fidget spinner. Oh, that's a good ancient fidget spinner. Good call. Like, oh, just going to sit there and spin my ring. So this one is about five and three quarters. My son was sad. He got there was a ring in our munch pack, and then he lost it at the at the aquarium. He lost it, but it's okay. 
All right, next up, we've got this ring. There's the side of it. Vitamin C overload. Yes, I think I'm going to have to go and, like, chug it. <laughs> A running horse. You know, like those, um, oh, what do you call them? Those, oh, my gosh, something scopes. What are they called? You know, the thing. And there's, like, a mirror in there, and you, like, spin it. And it makes it look like the horse is running around in a circle. Something scope. What do you call the thing? I know somebody out there knows. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. P fills plastic. Kaleidos. It's not the kaleidoscope. Zeotrope. That's what it is. Yeah. Zoetrope. Am I saying that wrong? Zoetrope. That's what I'm thinking of. It goes around and around. And you look in at the mirror. And you can, like, change the picture on it. Okay. Fine. I'll ride this. I'll ride this carousel around by myself. <laughs> that's okay. That's, that's usually how it works. I don't mind. <laughs> Every now and then somebody hops on and is like, I get you. And then they're like, I don't know what you're talking about. Bye. <laughs> okay. So then there's this big ring. And that's the side. Isn't it cool? Okay. I, I would tell I would tell you what the side looks like to me, but y'all were making fun of me for my horse and I'm joking. It looks like a crazy like lion or something, right? Like an Asian lion. You know? Roar. <laughs> um, if it's vintage, then I would say Etsy. I love the sides. And then it kind of curves in so your fingers are there's space for your fingers. This is a very good look for videos, apparently, too. Apparently, yeah. Um, oh, <laughs> yes, no, yes, no. I see the words, not your face. Um, okay, yeah, anyway, that one's cool. Then we have another ring that doesn't spin. It's another band with this like Celtic knot design. But this one does not spin around like a horse running. <laughs> um, but it is Mark 925. There's another one in there. Let's see what else the mark is. Uh, it's like N or UN. Um, so there's that. Yeah, Poshmark. I just started on Poshmark, so I can't say that yet because I haven't sold anything there. And then this is very unusual. Okay, ready? So it's this ring. And the, the finish is kind of wearing off. But look at this. Like, here's the back of this ring. I think it's supposed to be a ring. Or it's supposed to be a napkin ring. So it's like that. But watch. It is adjustable. But, but here, it pulls down. Have you seen anything like that? Hang on. Can you see that? It pulled down. You can push it back up. Is that weird? I've never seen anything like that. Now it's bigger. Let's see what this mark in here says. It might tell me if it's a, maybe it's a scarf. It's awfully small for a scarf clasp though, I would think. Ah, uh, come on now. I'm trying to see what it says. This says, it's hard to read. Yeah, it's different, right? Oh, it's just a patent number. I got to look up a patent number, I guess. Okay. It's a patent number. Maybe it didn't work out so well. Okay. <laughs> patent still pending. Yeah, for sure. Maybe, maybe. All right, so there's our next string. Pretty green. Uh, don't think that's a ring. Yeah. And it's about a size eight on this one. And then there was a broken silver chain in there too. And there's one more over here. This one I'm almost certain is turquoise. So there's that. Pretty, pretty. And it's marked 925 as well. Gosh, my head feels like it's about to explode. All right. Cool. And this one is a size 
between a nine and nine and a quarter on that one. Cool. All right. So that finishes out the rings from the hall. I will, I'm probably just going to have to pre record it to show all the stuff. I mean, I'll do a haul with some of the other stuff, but just to kind of give an overview of everything I got for the 500 bucks. Um, but that's the rings. And I, if you're interested in any of them, because I know I had somebody else message me saying there were some that she wanted to buy. So if you're interested, let me know. Because it's easier than, because I'll get quite, somebody will ask like, when, when are you going to get these things listed? I don't know. It could be a while. I have a lot of jewelry, so it might be a while, but I'm glad you guys came to hang out. Thank you so much for coming to hang out. Um, go over there and hit that thumbs up, and I'm going to go take some something and go to bed, I think, is what I'm going to do, and feel better tomorrow. But I hope you guys, nobody, I hope none of you are sick, and I hope you're all warm and safe, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye, guys. See you later.